Nicola from Lab Life. I'm filming today at Kiel University and in this video I'm going to show you the Pasco Wireless Smart Gate and talk through all of its extra features and explain why this is so much more than just a regular light gate. Okay so first off this is a wireless sensor which means it doesn't require a cable to connect to your device or your PC. It transmits its data via Bluetooth um, which is really important because it means that you get that really nice stable signal. It doesn't depend on any Wi-Fi and you can take it outside if you want to. Okay, so in this one unit you essentially get two light gates in one. So if we do a little close-up of um, the unit here, you can see the two holes where the beams are situated. So these two beams are situated uh, 1.5 centimeters apart um, and you can have both of them on if you want to or you can toggle one off. Uh, it's completely up to you and you can decide that in the software. Uh, another feature is this slot here, which accepts Pasco's uh, photo gate tape. So that's essentially a long strip of mylar tape, which has got black and transparent sections on, which unblock and block the beam as the tape travels through it. So that would allow you to plot um, like velocity profiles of your moving object, which is a really nice feature. On top of that, we've got this auxiliary port at the back here, which accepts stereo foam plugs, such as uh, this one which you might recognise because it's connected to Pasco's uh, photo gate head here. So to daisy chain this to the smart gate, all you've got to do is just plug it into the port here and that would give you two independent gates. So this is the kind of setup that you'd want to be using for the F equals MA CPAC where you want to measure acceleration between two fixed points. Um, it's also the cheapest way that you can get two independent light gates from um, Pasco, so I definitely recommend this setup. And the last feature that I'm going to show you is this one here, which is the laser receiver. So this can accept any laser, um, even like a cheap laser pen. So what you'd do to use this is you'd get your laser, um, you'd fix it, you'd turn it on and make sure it stays on and then align it with your receiver here. And then that would give you a gate of a user defined width. So if you've got something too big to pass through this section here, you could use it with the laser switch. So if you've got like a big, pendulum in your lab you could use it with that you could take it outside and do timing of running races and um, you could even measure the speed of passing cars on the road um, so that will give you lots of different options with this one piece of equipment obviously if you are using lasers uh, please be careful do your regular risk assessments um, and follow your standard lab rules um, so yeah thank you very much for joining me today i hope you found this useful and i look forward to seeing you next time thanks